Hello everyone, thanks for joining me once again and today we're going to talk about electricity. Uh, this is for those of you who are unfamiliar or maybe uncomfortable with working with electricity in the home, first time home buyers, people that just want to maybe change out an outlet or a light switch and you're just a little uncomfortable. I want to explain how the whole process works and how the flow of electricity works and uh, the theory behind, behind it all so that way maybe it'll put all the pieces together for you. So to do that, I'm going to go over to the workbench and I'm going to do a little diagram to help explain it. Okay, so for the purposes of this illustration, we're going to use um, this black will be the hot or the line. This is where the power would be coming through. And uh, the white, so we'll mark it as black so you can see it's a black wire. All right. And the white, which I can't use the white color here because it's a, a white board, is going to be the neutral white wire. Okay? And then we've got your ground. Hopefully that's green enough for you. Okay? Okay, so um, we've got hot, which is black, neutral, which is usually white and your ground which I have here is hopefully that's green and uh, we've got your uh, panel your main panel okay and you've got your main breaker here usually at the top okay and the main breaker the the power comes into your main breaker and then feeds all the breakers beneath so let's say you have a breaker here that's going to go to an electrical outlet, all right? Um, and uh, you've got also a, uh, a neutral, um, let's say for any neutral, we've got a neutral bus bar and you've got a ground bar, okay? So what happens is, is that you've got your wire going to your circuit to your breaker, which is the hot, okay, where you've got, you can flip it on and off, okay, your wire comes out and goes to your, your, your outlet, for example, and then you've got your neutral wire also coming, okay, and then you've got your ground wire coming, okay, just like that, follow? So let's get an electrical outlet over here, okay, we're going to put uh, these wires here to simulate what's coming out of the panel all right and um, what we're gonna have here is if you notice this outlet you've got these brass screws on the right hand side which will typically be the hot or the line or the or for the black wire and these more silver looking screws that will be your neutral or your white you can also see now in more modern outlets you've got the larger hole here that's gonna also indicate the neutral the neutral side and they do that because oftentimes when you're plugging a device in, the device is requiring uh, the hot to be coming through one portion of the wire with the neutral being on the other because inside the device, it wants the power to, to go a certain, certain direction instead of going the opposite direction. Okay, so now we've got an outlet and you're going to take the, um, continue the black over to the other side to where the, the line screws are, or the hot screws. And then you've got your um, neutral going to one of the neutral screws. And then you've got your ground, which is going to go over to um, your ground screw. Okay, can I stop these markers from rolling? The ground screw, okay. Now, if you have a metal box, you may all, like this, you may also want to have uh, your ground tied off to one of the screws on the box as well in case you have a situation where there's a wire touching the side of the box and you happen to maybe touch the box or you've got a short happening. You want the box, to, the metal box to be grounded also. And, and a lot of boxes today are plastic, so you don't have to worry about that. But you know, let's talk about ground for a minute. What is it exactly? Ground is exactly that, which is if you have a short, and, and you, you happen to touch a device that where the short occurs instead of that power 
uh, coming into you. The power has a, pay, a place to escape and goes back through the ground wire and actually into the ground. Let me show you what that looks like. All right, so out here we've got the panel and we've got a ground wire coming out from the panel. Well, we've got the meter and the panels on the other side. Ground wire coming down and under the mulch and it comes up here and to this rod that was driven deep into the ground. And so this is the ground wire and anything that, any, if you have an accident or short or, you know, instead of that power going into you or, or some, something in the house, it's gonna come back down into the ground. So the way this power flows is, is the power flows in the direction of your, your hot wire, okay? And it goes into your device or your outlet here and then circles back through your neutral wire. And it makes a constant circle like this, okay? That's just how electricity flows. Now let's say you wanna add another outlet because oftentimes you have more than one outlet on a breaker. Now you, where you would have just one outlet would be maybe your microwave, your dryer, your dishwasher, your stove, things like that. Your furnace, you know, have a one breaker uh, for that, okay? But uh, let's say you're gonna have, like you do in most homes, you have a room that has multiple outlets. It's oftentimes on the same breaker. So what happens there is you have another outlet, right? You're, you're gonna then go off of the next screw, which is on the hot side. You're gonna take that, and now you're gonna go over here to this hot screw, okay? Then you've got the neutral. You can come off the top of the, the next neutral screw and go to here, to this neutral here, whichever one you choose. And then your ground is gonna continue, go to the other ground, okay? and then you can continue like that. And so again, the power, the way the power flows is through the black wire into the black, excuse me, over here, then out this way to here, then the neutral and back through to the panel, okay? All right, now let's talk about if we're doing a light switch with a light, okay? So maybe we have a light over here, okay, a lamp, make it lit. All right, and we've got, let's see, we've got, there's our wires. Hopefully this will make sense. Okay, so now we have a uh, neutral, a, a hot, and also your ground, okay? So on a light switch, you're gonna have your ground screw, and you're gonna only have, you're only gonna have screws for the black wire. So what happens is, is that the power goes, through the switch only. The neutral does not go through the switch. So you want the power to only go through the switch. You don't want any power to the lamp or to the light unless the switch is on. What you don't want to have is the neutral going through the switch. Even though it will shut off the light, you're going to have a hot wire sitting at the light even when the light's off. And that's not what you want. So you're going to have your black coming from the panel, okay, over to the black screw, and then the other black screw will go to your black wire here. Got a little wire nut, okay? Let's put our wire nuts here. There we go, okay. Then you have your ground coming from the panel to the ground screw here, okay? And then also going to your ground here, okay? And then you've got your neutral coming from the panel and it just bypasses the switch completely. And you, you've got your two white wires capped together inside the box where your, your uh, light switch is and they just connect to the wire going to the lamp, okay? Or to the light in the ceiling, whatever it is. And inside that device, you're gonna have you know, neutral a ground and also a hot black wire that you're going to wire the, wire everything to. So hopefully that makes sense there. Um, now, if this is helpful for you, please hit that like button. And we're going to also share with you videos that we've created that show you exactly how to wire a light switch, exactly how to wire a three-way light switch, an outlet, a GFCI outlet, all the very specific tutorials that you need to know uh, when it comes to 
wiring simple devices and receptacles like this in your house. So again, if this was helpful for you, please hit that like button. It helps the channel. And subscribe if you'd like for more amazing home DIY videos. Thanks, everyone, and we'll see you next time.